things. Yeah, well, it, it, I think it's a very a big, those big questions. Theoretical mm -hmm. physicists seem to come up against those throughout their entire careers. That's and why I became a theoretical <laughs> physicist. <laughs> I wanted to bump up against those big questions. Constantly. And yeah. so, it, I mean, that's, that's, an, that's another question I was, I was really interested in is that I've heard that the majority of theoretical physicists are incredibly spiritual and have a great appreciation for the concept of consciousness and the soul and the universe and where it came from because these are the questions that they're constantly asking. Um, for yourself, how do you, um, how do you, what's your view on life and, you know, what, where is it? What are we doing when we teleport life if we ever get to that point? Uh, well, if I knew the answer to, to life, I would have an inside track up there. <laughs> right, right. As would anybody, yeah. <laughs> uh, but let me tell you how we, we, we physicists view things, mm -hmm. right? For example, um, Einstein w was asked the big question, is there mm -hmm. a God? Is there mm -hmm. a meaning to, to everything, right? Right. And here's how Einstein answered the question. He said, there really are two kinds of gods. We have to be very scientific. We have to de define what you mean by God. If God is the God of intervention, the personal God, the God of prayer, the God that parts the waters, then he had a hard time believing in that. Would God listen to all our prayers for a bicycle yeah. for Christmas and right. smite the Philistines for me, please? Right. He didn't think so. However, he believed in the God of order, harmony, beauty, simplicity, and elegance, the God of Spinoza. That's the God that he believed in because he thought the universe was so gorgeous. It didn't have to be that way. It could have been chaotic. It could have been mm -hmm. ugly, messy. But here we have the fact that all the equations of physics can be placed on a simple sheet of paper. Right. Einstein's equation is only one inch long. Mm -hmm. And the quantum theory is about a yard long, but you can squeeze <laughs> it onto a, a sheet of paper. Right, with a small enough font. No. <laughs> right. And with string theory, you could even put those two equations together. And mm -hmm. string theory can be squeezed into an equation one inch long. Mm -hmm. And that equation, by the way, is my equation. <laughs> That's string field theory. That's nice. my contribution. Right. But we want to know, well, where did that equation come from? Mm -hmm. You know, This is what Einstein asked. Uh, did God have a choice? Was there any choice in building a universe? When he woke mm -hmm. up in the morning, he would say, I'm going to create a universe. I'm going to be God today. What kind of universe would I create? This is how he created much of his theories.